Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to the closed beta for Endzone, a world apart, a post-apocalyptic, hardcore survival city builder game available now on Steam. Check down below in the description or hop on Steam to check out more information about this game, including pricing and whatnot. This game is incredibly brutal, a very, very brutal and hardcore city builder survival game. I can't believe it. If you loved surviving the aftermath, then Endzone, a world apart, is definitely for you a very gritty and dirty post-apocalyptic survival experience. It's really, really cool. The story is in the year of 2021, a group of terrorists blew up a bunch of power plants around the world and plunged everyone into chaos. And those areas were called end zones and people are trying to escape those worlds and try to rebuild society away from the nuclear disasters of power plants and civil wars and everything else going on. So we're going to try to build a settlement. We're going to gather and refine a bunch of materials and we're going to try to survive disasters like radioactive uh, contaminated ground droughts, toxic rain, sandstorms, boop, 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 and a lot more. So thank you everybody for clicking and tapping that subscribe button. If you want to see more of this game, make sure you blow up and destroy that like button and let me know you want to see another episode of End Zone, A World Apart, or a full series on the channel. And thanks to everybody smashing that join button as well and becoming a member of this channel. It's just next to that sub button, so thanks to everybody doing that one as well. Again, this is an early access game, so a lot of things are not complete or balanced or might not be working. Always keep that in mind. Let's start ourselves a new game, and of course, as always, glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section. You guys are amazing. I guess we'll go with the presets here because I've never played before, but I do know that we can pick a random map, and I did see the developers playing this a little bit, and man, the amount of buildings that you can build and the variety in this game is huge. So let's start our first game of Endzone, A World Apart. Look at all those cool buildings. I think we have houses here, a pub, we have farms, what looks to be a watchtower maybe with a giant spotlight on it. That is incredible. I literally just found out about this game maybe 10, 15 minutes ago and immediately went to their website to purchase it so I could get access to the uh, closed beta. And man, oh man, am I happy I did. I'm already excited at the looks of these buildings. I'm getting banished feels. I'm getting surviving the aftermath feels. And now we have ourselves a fresh start. This seems to be a suitable place to settle. You know what we learned back in the end zone? Basic needs first. We need to install water and food supply, and afterwards, let's build ourselves a new home. All right, let's begin. Let's take a look around the map here. Wow, we got a beautiful lake that we settle next to. That is very lucky. We should be able to do things like fishing and whatnot. And it looks like we have an incoming drought, so we'll have to get ready for that as soon as possible. It looks like there's also destroyed cities in the map that we can go and loot, either get uh, materials from or... Oh, it looks like there's actually a doctor's office here. So we might be able to send somebody to go and scout and look for materials within the world map like this. Ah, there's a nuclear power plant here that looks like it exploded. Well, that's a great place to uh, set up camp right next to a nuclear power plant. Oh <laughs> boy. There's also destroyed uh, windmills everywhere. So a lot of places for us to gather materials such as scrap, cloth. There's a lot of things in the game. Looks like we have food, water, uh, wood, scrap, tools, uh, radiation protection, pharmaceuticals, cloth, metals, plastics, I'm assuming. Yep, electronics and then even uh, coal to worry about in this game. So, let's get cracking then. The drought is coming, so we better start small. We only have 10 people and five children in our camp. So here's all of our wonderful Raptorians. Give them a like, because they're the last hope of mankind. Looks like we can build a cistern. Uh, we have boardwalks. Look at all these different items. Food, resources, housing, community buildings, logistics, electricity, and different tasks, which I'm assuming is like in Donna Man, where you tell them to go cut down a bunch of trees. Yeah, just like that. So we can mark areas for uh, gathering plants or a scrap or whatnot. Let's go ahead and start with what is most important. Uh, let's see, we have a rain collector here, but with a drought coming, that's not going to be too good. It looks like we can even irrigate the land for farming, so if the area is not suitable, we can do that. Ah, here we are, a well. Takes 30 scrap and 30 minutes to build. Let's go ahead and start with that, and let's see if we can get ourselves some water going. I'm assuming this green line is where we can build roads, so let's go ahead and plop that next to our building here, and let's go ahead and start assigning people just like in Banished. Settlers, we have 10, so let's go ahead and just assign everybody to start building. Go ahead and finish that, and then we'll assign somebody to be a well keeper. In the meantime, we can also build roads, too. And in this game, we can lay out our entire city and then just keep all the buildings on pause, too. So if we want to, we can lay out where we're going to have, like, future uh, uh, buildings or something like that, and then just turn them on and off pause. Looks like this is our... Uh, oh, wrecked bus. It looks like this is, like, our main base or something like that. Town center is the heart of this settlement. Okay, so we can upgrade that eventually. People can sleep here on the bus for now, but it's not as good as actually building a home. So it looks like we were driving through the area, the bus broke down, and that's that. Oh, it looks like we can also send scouts over here to the greenhouse nearby. So there might be bonuses for checking out those areas. 
Okay, well, everybody's bringing over the materials that are needed now. Looks like we also need to get food up, but I don't think it's going to be viable before the drought comes. So let's go ahead and get uh, maybe a fishing hut up now. Right over here, we have ourselves a giant lake, so it might be a good idea to build it uh, over here somewhere. There we go. We'll, we'll put our fishing hut there, and there may be a boardwalk there so we can also gather water. We'll just need a lot more people to transport it, so the well is more important now. They're digging a big hole, lowering down a bucket, and then bringing it up. So let's go ahead and assign somebody to work here. We can either do that by clicking on the building itself or by the uh, personnel profession, professions management down there. So good. We got one person to work there. We got to build the building first before we assign workers to it. So the fishery or the fishing hut takes four workers, but of course, no need to assign them yet until they've actually... Uh, you know, constructed the building. All right, 600 water, 600 food. That's going to keep dwindling until we've got a more reliable source. In the meantime, let's see if we can ask some people to go out and gather some stuff. Uh, we have 15 tools, and we have five children, so eventually they'll grow up and probably be able to work, so they'll grab a tool as well. Oh, man, this is really good looking. I really like this. Look, at there's so li many little details. Look, a little arcade game sitting out there, a shipping container. Uh, we've got, like, cranes and gantry parts and just, like, frames everywhere that can be cut down and brought back. Beautiful. And there's even a little road here, too. And a little scrap pile there as well. Ooh, a truck. All right, drought's coming in just a few days. Water's dwindling. What is our production right now? Uh, check, click to open the resource administration. Production limit. Yeah, we want unlimited water. Efficiency is at 100%. It looks like it has 100% during the day, and then when the worker goes off... Uh, to sleep it looks like his productivity drops but we can also increase that by connecting it to power so just like an anno 1800 uh, buildings become a lot more effective and i would actually say this is a lot more similar to anno 1800 when it comes to building uh, buildings it's like a, a, a square grid that we build everything in similar to surviving the aftermath let's go ahead and put down some more roads and stuff so we can start building our town so that is under logistics i'm assuming yes so we have a depository so i'm assuming that's probably like a warehouse for us to store things we can sell things at the market and uh it looks like a central building distribute all resources in the settlement so it looks like water's needed there but look at that it actually takes electronics and stuff to build so we don't actually have the ability to build that at the moment uh, and it looks like the depository stores food clothes and tools so that's definitely something we're gonna have to build as well because we need to be able to uh drop off all the the food and stuff here so let's go ahead and put that there closer to the fishing uh, hut oh it looks like the fishery is done perfect all right let's go ahead and assign people there take away some workers we definitely know we need food and water like no matter what so unfortunately we got to cut the labor force on building down and now we have water should be coming in 525 it looks like it's dropping kind of want to build another well now just to see uh if we can do that can we increase the workforce no it looks like only one person needs to be here so uh, let's see if we can build another well, maybe. Water is incredibly important. If we build a boardwalk, that just means that people are going to have to... Uh, oh, we don't have materials to build some of this stuff. A lot of this only takes scraps, so we should do that. Let's build our two water wells of Raptoria here, then. And I don't think... If they overlap, is there any negative effect? Uh, efficiency is at 100%. I'm assuming that's just based on the fact that there's somebody working there. So let me build another one next to it and see if that has any effect to it. I don't think it says anything about that. There's a cistern here, collects and stores water. The building requires a boardwalk or rain collector to function. Oh, okay, so it needs to connect to something else. So the cistern is actually a small, um, like a gathering area, and then we can attach rain collectors or boardwalks to it. So essentially, water can be gathered like out on the lake, then brought to the cistern, then transported back to town. So water is gathered here, stored here, and then uh, consumed inside the town. Here is our first night, our first night in Raptoria. Night is coming, and people are still working. The drought is almost here. Uh, let's see here, Earth radiation. Let's take a look at that. Oh, we can take a look at all nuclear fallout. So we have to stay away from some of these hot areas. Let's see how it is near the nuclear power plant. Something tells me it'll probably be completely clean. Oh, what is this here? A hospital, maybe? Oh, yeah, there's hospital ruins there, too. Okay. Where was that nuclear power plant? It's around here somewhere, but... Uh, looks like it'll be okay. I'm assuming it's just completely random. It doesn't have to do anything based on the buildings. But we'll have to be careful where we construct things then. It looks like we luckily did not build the uh, nuclear uh, on the nuclear site for the fishery, so that's good. Okay, let's turn that off for now. And let's take a look here. We can sell soil moisture. Oh, so we can make soil a lot more moist by putting the... Yes, moist. We can uh, put down that fertilizer building, or I'm sorry, the irrigation plant. Maybe we can do fertilization. That would be a cool thing. Ah, good. 
low water resources. Yep, we're down to 385, so let's get somebody assigned to that. We got our second well up, so that's good. And let's see if the efficiency drops. It does. So if we build them next to each other, the efficiency does drop. Uh, surrounding building 0 out of 3, though, it says. What does that mean exactly? Uh, each building of the same type within the... Uh, the preparatory will production, the building becomes less. Okay, so we can only lower it by three. All right, so overlapping is definitely something we don't want to do in the future. So after testing that out, we definitely know that that's a thing. Let's see what the other ones say. Um, it doesn't say any more details about efficiency at day and night. But right now, we're not producing much water because the worker is off the clock. So let's go ahead and speed up time. We now have our depository, so that's great. So we can store any sort of food we have here. Looks like we're actually gaining food, water... Um, is not coming in. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, oh, wait, wait, what? 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 Oh, the drought. It, oh, it literally dried up the entire lake. I can't believe that. Like, with it overnight, the drought dried up the entire lake, and now there's, like, no reason for anybody to worry. I can't believe that. The drought l literally removed all the lakes from the map. So we'll have to find other alternative water sources for whenever there's a drought. It's only a day. It's, well, I can't believe it dried. And this must be incredibly hot to boil off the water like that in a day. Uh, we are still producing water here, so that's good. We have 135. I want to see if we can continue to make water, though. Uh, it is continuously going down, but uh, even though we've overlapped, we sh should still be producing enough for 10 people. Oh, we have a new adult now. Somebody has grown into an adult. It looks like we have one worker free, and we have nine professionals, it says. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the professions here. we got two people working on water. Let's assign another builder, then. Uh, although we don't have anything else being built at the moment. Uh, but maybe it might be a good idea to start that. Let's take a look at homes. Let's go on normal speed while we still build some new stuff. Let's see. Housing requires wood and scrap. If we build a shelter, that's going to require a ton of other stuff. Looks like there's also a water tank here. So that'll be good. But let's start with basic housing for our people. So we'll have to build some houses along this way. Let's get two houses down. Looks like homes have enough room for two people plus three children. Okay, let's go ahead and try... Uh, we'll build a neighborhood back here behind it. So that should be two, four, six adults that we can uh, put in those homes for now. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, storage space of this building is running out. Oh, there's lots of water. We just need somebody to transport it. Okay, let's continue to find out what we need for transportation. Well keeper. What does the settler do? Uh, fulfills simple tasks and helps transporting resources. Ah. Uh, so just like in Surviving the Aftermath, we need people to transport. So we need that number to not be zero, so that way they can transport stuff. Well, the fishing dock doesn't need anybody working there anymore because the drought has dried up the lake. So now we should have plenty of water. We just need to transport it uh, to the homes, I suppose. Uh, let's see where water can be stored. Do we need to build the cistern as well? Let's take a look. Uh, cistern collects and stores water. Uh, we don't have 42 scrap for that, though. So we'll have to like build something here. People should be able to get water from the actual uh, cistern, though. And let's tell our other people to go and gather uh, some scrap nearby. Let's go ahead and... Oh, looks like they can do it from these buildings. I don't want to gather from that building, though, uh, because it looks like a quest building, perhaps. So let's leave that alone. All right. Well, so far, so good. Aside from getting water stored, there are people working at the... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got our... We got somebody. They're on the move. We got, we got somebody moving. Where's he going? He is going to do something. Looks like he is gathering water, I think, from the back there. Okay, so let's see. So the, the the depository only stores food and tools and things, and the cistern is what we need to store water, and so we can see it's storage as soon as it's built. So, and it looks like we got homes up now, so that's good. So food is stored. Maybe we could dismantle the other one just to cannibalize it for materials, and that'll increase its efficiency too, so let's see what happens when everybody removes stuff. We'll go without water for a little while, but I guess that is to be expected in a drought. And a sandstorm blowing over the town. What is going on? Every, everything has dried up completely. And a wave of sand has blown over the entire city. That is incredible. Wow. Okay. Food and water are now starting to come in. We actually are gaining water now. But this will be this building will be much more efficient. All right, we need water to return so we can actually go fishing. So we're in a real bad spot right now. Pe people are gathering uh, scrap now from the site. So with pickaxes and whatever else they can manage, people are bringing back more scrap to complete the uh, larger cistern here. And then we can continue to build homes. We still have a few homeless, but at least water and food are coming in. We are managing. We're learning. 
as we go on, as people in the apocalypse would have to as well. All right, we have a homeless problem. Let's get that resolved. Let's go for a few more homes if we can. We'll build a ro road on this side. Let's get two homes down here and here. There we go. Looks like we didn't build this one close to the road, but there might be options for decorations, and I can tuck a few of those in there as well. All right, let's assign somebody to the workforce for water transportation. Oh, man, this is bad times. We don't have... This was a horrible, horrible situation. A drought immediately came in as we spawned, and it's hard to get water if there's no water, and it's hard to get food if there's no water for fish, which is our essential uh, beginning thing here. Oh, it looks like water's back. Okay, food can come in. Wow, we are really at risk here. All right, let's go ahead and assign two builders, but let's assign more fishing people. We need to get food immediately. And let's get more people carrying water in. Looks like our uh, builders did a good job. Let's just leave one builder for any random task, and everyone else can be on uh, water carrying. There we go. Looks like we got unhappy settlers. I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not surprised by that at all. As we're learning and coming up with some really tough situations, like starting off with a, <laughs> with an immediate drought. It's kind of hard to keep everyone happy with that, but all right. Well, water is coming in. Food is coming in. The numbers are going up. That's good. The fishing dock is doing a great job of bringing in some uh, basic food. Looks like we've gathered all the materials needed here. Let's go ahead and keep everyone else on gathering wood uh, from the nearby area. Let's go over here. We're going to definitely need wood and gather some more scrap to uh, move the area. Uh, let's go here. We'll just plop it down there for now. Just simple plopping is all that we need. All right, so at least food and water are coming in. We're starting to gain our knowledge and get our wits about us on what we need to do. Uh, looks like we lost a child. Did somebody die, or did they did they just move out, or did they become an adult? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if there's a way to deal with the dead. I think maybe they just ran off. I don't know. Oh, yep, there's definitely a way to bury. <laughs> the cemetery, there's a school as well. Medical facilities, campfires, as I mentioned, which is good for meeting place to increase con oh, confidence. Okay. Oh, that's a huge area. Wow, okay, so that's like an addition to the already existing um, little uh, town hall. Let's build that as well. Oh, there's actually contamination here, so I think they need to dig that soil out and get rid of it. If an area is contaminated, it builds, it increases the build time. Yep. So they gotta first, like, flatten the land. Think of it as, like, maybe a small mountain or something like that. All right, we have three people who are unhappy. Settlers with low confidence, so we'll get them increased by building that campfire. Still need to worry about water, so that'll be an important thing, too. But we'll get that sorted out very soon, as soon as daytime is here. There must be other ways to gather water more effectively. I guess the best way is to build a boardwalk, and then next to that, a, a cistern in order to store it there. As this says here, it... Uh, Build a boardwalk or a rain catcher. If we can build, can we build? Oh, we can build one next to it. There we go. Let's build one there. It's already raining, so now we know we can get a lot of rain. I don't know if I'd trust rain water, but I guess it's the very same. So now we'll build a rain catcher, and that'll fill right into the cistern, or at least they transport it next door. So we got. Oh, look at that. There's actually somebody pedaling at the well. So they're pumping water out and trying to fill up the bucket and stuff. That is so cool. Food is starting to increase. That's great. Um. Water is still a little uh, pending. TBD on the water. We'll see here. Uh, settlers without water won. Uh, but we should have more and more being stored. So this is good. This is very brutal. Very, very um, consequential if you don't do exactly what's needed when it's needed. Uh, we have two people without protective clothing working in contaminated areas. So we need to be careful about that. And water is still much more needed. Looks like we have more children again. So we got uh, 12 adults and 4 children. So we have more than what we started with. What's the announcements here? Notifications, unhappy, and uh, low settlement uh, water. So we'll keep increasing that. So the, uh, I'm hoping the well and the rain catcher should be enough for everybody to gather stuff. Looks like 24 plastics required. So let's go ahead and have people go gather some plastic. Uh, take all resources. Does gather... Uh, how do we gather scrap if that's not on the list? Uh, gather scrap. All scrap in a certain area. Gather wood. Gather wood and all scrap. How do we get plastic then in this game? Scrap piles, greenhouses, there's scrap everywhere, but I don't see any actual plastic. We'll have to figure out how to gain plastic. Let's see if it says. Plastics can be refined from scrap in a refinery. It's an important material to detain radiation. Ah, so we need to build a refinery. Okay, so that is where. Recycler maybe? That's what, what, what they must mean. 
Metal clothes and plastic from scrap. Ah, okay, so it slowly separates all that stuff. So we can actually get cloth and stuff from there. Okay, so scrap is a general material. Then the recycler actually picks through stuff and separates it. So that way we can actually reuse it. Okay, so that's good. So we'll build our rain catcher next. So right now I think we have enough water to at least keep people alive, but they're not necessarily happy. We still have homeless. Um, and let's see, low, low confidence. So the fire is built now. Well, that's cool. We got like a gathering area for everyone to chat. Like a town hall about how this this YouTuber's out of control. I, I don't have this game, but I would do much better blindfolded. Which is probably true. All right, let's see here. Recycler. Oh, what what is this? Oh, dear. Oh, they're literally just walking right into the camp. They look a little radioactive. I don't know of a gray spotted deer like that. That doesn't look healthy. Well, now we can build ourselves a hunter. Uh, there's the refinery there, as it said, but we don't need the refinery. That's just a better building for refining, it seems. We first need metal for that. So uh, we do have people building this building. Uh, all the materials are delivered, wooden scrap. Now we just need builders to come over and get to work on that. So let's go back to this area. We have one builder. So let's get two. I'm still going to leave random settlers to do tasks like gathering scrap and wood. So scrap brought back has cloth and plastic in it. So now we know that. So that's kind of cool. All right, we need some additional houses now. People are getting a little upset. We lose one child and they become an adult. So that's good. So I think they're just shifting over to becoming adults rather quickly. So a school is good. That will allow for people to immediately be uh, brought, you know, brought to school to become more effective uh, adults when it comes to uh, producing stuff. So now we have somebody working at the recycler. So now we can get the required plastic to build the rain catcher and the water problem should be permanently solved. And then we can go on to other things now. So we'll probably bring in more plastics and cloth, which we might be able to use for radioactive protection to protect from radiation and other things that we might encounter further away from the camp. All right, let's go ahead and authorize some more homes to be constructed. Build our little neighborhood here. I'm loving this game so far. This is incredible. And though I don't know everything, which is uh, part of the learning process of a closed beta, uh, the developers have done an excellent job. I've not seen anything that is uh, glitchy or not explained perfectly. And, of course, we'll make improvements as well. So if you do happen to get access to the game, let me know, by the way, if you bought this game down below or if you're going to get it right after this video. A lot of people do say, hey, I'm buying this video today. Thanks for the... Or, sorry, I'm buying this game today. Thanks for the video. Um, and that's just cool to hear that uh, you, get, you get as excited as I do about building games and survival games. And I love city builders based in apocalyptic times because it's so cool to see, like, a broken down truck or car. Uh, be salvaged and then turned into a bunch of corrugated roofs for a home. So now we should have uh, more and more homes for everybody. We probably will still be short on a few homes, but uh, I can't remember the math on it. It's two, apparently it's five occupants that can be there. However, it said two adults and three children. So I'm assuming kids can't live in a house alone. They have to have parents. So I'm assuming in this game, there's always two parents, and then at the very most, they have three children. I think that's how it might calculate that. All right, let's take a look at the... Uh, recycler here. It looks like we need to set it to refine plastic. So we're going to go for plastic now so that way we can build the rain catcher. So we might need to build multiple recyclers. And then of course they can be provided with electricity like an Anno 1800 to be more effective. So we can get our metal, electronics, and cloth from here. So we should have gathered some cloth but it doesn't look like they were working because it was nighttime, So they were off the, uh, off the clock. So uh, as soon as we have more water I think confidence will come in. Some people are just like short on water but they're not they're unhappy about it, but, you know, uh, you know, they're still pushing through. All right, let's see how things are going at the fishing dock. I love the animations. That's really good. And the dock actually looks really nice, too. Okay, so let's see what happens now at the recycler. Looks like they're producing times two plastic. And efficiency by day is plus 100. So that's good. All right, more people are low confidence. We still need to work on that water. Which means the first thing we've got to do is get plastic for the uh, rain catcher because it is raining every few days. It looks like a drought is coming again, too. No drought about it. So we're going to have to uh, build ourselves another well. Let's build another one further away. Water in this game is extremely, extremely important and is a very uh, used resource. So uh, it's probably a good idea for us to build another one. Maybe over here, a little further away. Is there, uh, I guess we can build it back here by the houses. And we'll build it like this, I think. Yeah, we'll build it, like, just a little further away from the town. Okay, cool. So we'll build another building there, and we'll get somebody to work on that. So water 
we'll have to figure out the math in this, but uh, you know how it goes. Like as people play, they'll figure out what the exact ratio is to you know you know 13 people to one well or something like that. So we'll figure out if you know t it's 10 people per well or whatever, unless you have a rain catcher. But we are working to improve that problem, and that's all. This is all about is improving problems. All right. So it looks like five people are low confidence. We are still working. We are gathering uh, the plastic now required to build this thing, two out of 24. So finally, after all this time, we now have the uh, plastic going. We need more recyclers, though. Uh, but I need most of our people on other jobs, such as uh, building or transporting water carriers as well. Let's get another well keeper for when that building is complete. And we have one person working as a refiner so far. So let's get another refinery up. So that is under re yep resources, and then our second uh, building will go down right there. All right, perfect. All right, so now we can start gathering even more plastic. So we'll probably have to keep on gathering more scrap, and I'm assuming all of our people probably gathered all the scrap there. And they did a good job of cutting down all the trees, so good for them. And I also assume that the Forester Lodge uh, will be good for um, actually continuously planting trees so that way we don't have to go further and further for gathering trees let's move our uh, work area for us, gathering scrap let's try to gather scrap from here now looks like that turns orange whenever looks like there's 83 scrap there as well so again scrap will be turned into some plastics okay well at least water's coming in I'm glad to see that we have fish scrap and wood stored here and it looks like the this depository actually gets full quite quickly so it's a good idea to build multiple depositories. Yeah, look at that. Ten wood, or ten plastic required. All the wood and scrap that we need are done. Ten plastic is here, then we just need to build it. So hopefully that'll resolve our rain issues after the uh, after the drought here. We have one more day of rain. Let's speed up. Let's see how it goes. I think we have people dying or leaving. Of course, this is my first look at the game. And I do want to do a full playthrough. So again, if you haven't already, smash like if you love city builders like this and want to see more if you're interested in this game. This is just a kind of a first look to get our legs under us. And man, oh man, is it a very detailed game with a lot of different aspects to take care of it. I'm really looking forward to playing this one more. I love it already. And we now have more water coming in too from this well here. So we don't want it to overlap. So these two wells are far enough apart, and they... Oh, looks like I just got an achievement. Just a sip. Looks like we got a 1,000 out of 5,000 liters of water, maybe? Okay. I guess we're just we're just giving our people just a sip. All right. Well, luckily, uh, the drought is here again, but we do have ourselves plenty of food, and we do have wells, which are not going to be affected by uh, the drought, so they'll still be able to produce. So let's assign a person here to work. Slow down time here and get another person at our recycler. I'm going to go ahead and remove one water carrier and increase one more refiner so we can get that rain catcher down. And I'm assuming the rain catcher will still need a person to work at it to kind of monitor and make sure things are going okay. Settlers without protective clothing, yeah. So the water problem is kind of being resolved. We're at 85 now, and despite a drought coming in, that, that's a good number to see. Let's assign the second one to wa uh, water bottles as well, or plastic, so that way both can actually, there we go, both can uh, produce that rain catcher as soon as possible. So another depository needs to be built. That's a thing we know about. Scrap and wood are required for that, but I'd rather our scrap be converted into plastic. So scrap, you need a lot of scrap, and then that converts it into cloth or plastic too. So once scrap has been converted, it's no longer usable as scrap. I don't. I think it actually converts it into that. It's not like it, it's a separate number within that number that just needs to be sorted. In other words, if you have 100 scrap, you don't have a hidden 100 plastic, 100 cloth that just needs to be sorted through. All right, the drought should be here today, so let's speed up and see what happens again. The entire lake drying up, as we've seen before, which is neat for us to move over the uh, workers to another job. So let's go ahead and reassign some people to do something else. Let's go ahead and assign some more uh, builders to get that uh, water tower completed as soon as possible. Actually, no, let's just leave them as uh, regular construction, or uh, rather, uh, regular gathering tasks. What do we have here? Settlers without clo protective clothing. Create protective clothing by using the tailor. Okay, so we have more people coming to our camp, and so we definitely need to do that. And we'll have to uh, start gathering. Uh, there we go. We're going to switch over one to cloth and one to plastic now so we can produce more cloth. Okay, there goes the wonderful rain catcher, now completed. And that should be able to bring in water for us. Nobody has to work here. That's great. So they just need to transport the water over to the cistern, which will store more water. So now we have two wells and a rain catcher. 
Improvements have been made. Excellent. Glory to Raptoria. We have done it. Thank you. Yes. Okay, let's move on to the next thing, which is going to be the tailor then. We need 12 cloth just to build that building. Well, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> All right, but anyway, let's build it over here. There we go. And once that's constructed, cloth will be converted into clothing there and then stored at the depository, which we're full on as well. So let's see how much it takes to build another one of those. So that's under, uh, let's see, food, water, uh, maybe logistics. Yes. Uh, 36 and 52 for that. So we'll have to keep making sure our people are working on gathering materials as well. So let's put two warehouses next to each other. And uh, let's take a look at see if everybody's gathering stuff. So this is for gathering wood, I think. And then scrap was down here. And there's still plenty of scraps. So we got plenty of time, plenty of resources. Now, water almost resolved. Next problem, protective clothing. So now you know kind of how to progress in the game. That food is not as crazy to acquire. One fishing dock will do you for a group of uh, about 20 people. But water, incredibly important to build multiple wells and multiple uh, rain catchers. Water now at 150, number increasing. Beautiful. Our cistern doing a lot of good uh, work. It's, it's basically like an above ground pool with a tarp over it. So we're doing a great job there of gathering all the water. Settlers with low confidence. We're still trying to raise that with the uh, thing there. As soon as we complete our next building for the uh, tailor, we should be good. Excellent. Look at how big our city is. I, I'm sure it'll get even bigger than this. I bet we could build all the way down here, and as we clear space of trees and debris, we'll be good. All right, this morning I want to see if a... Uh, oh, it looks like the drought's over now. Uh, should be no rain today, but the next few days will be every other day with rain. What is this here? New goals. Open the goals to view them. Uh, wood stored. 77 out of 187. Gather resources from the area. 22 minutes. Oh, we get a reward if we do that of 50 herbs and 30 scrap. Okay, I guess we'll do the random task then. Let's go to tasks and try to gather wood from... Uh, I guess let's move the work area to... Uh, let's clear out everything, I guess. Yeah, let's clear out everything here. Looks like there's 153. There we go. Kind of weird. When you place down the marker, there has to be clear land for it to, uh, to mark. So that's kind of weird. That you have to like, you have to set it on solid ground. Let's go ahead and uh, gr gather scrap from here too. And we'll leave the greenhouse alone. There might be something inside va of value. We'll have to figure out how to get a scout, but that will come in time. Okay, no tailors assigned. All right, we got to slow down time for now. Let's reassign our workforce. Water carriers, well keepers, builders. Let's go with, uh, uh, wait, I can't assign fishermen for some reason. We have four settlers available to work. Maybe the fishing dock can't function at the moment. Doesn't look like I can... There we go. I can assign four people to it now. Ah, we have two out of four. Ah, I still need extra people available, though. Oh, boy. Uh, let's get rid of one builder, and we'll leave a settler alone. Okay, so now we've got a really limited population. we got to really worry about that uh, workforce. Okay, so the uh, tailor is now doing their job, or at least uh, can do their job as soon as we've got somebody working there. So now we need more... Helping hands to help out the city. And we got another construction project of the other um, depository. This is amazing. I really like this. And I cannot wait to like see it get more optimized into how to like go into the battle against the elements. And like you know have your checklist of first water, then food, then this, then that. Very uh, important to uh, know exactly what kind of a beast you're up against. Looks like we can build neck scarves or we can build... Oh, what does this require? Coal. We need to have coal in order to be, do active... Activated uh, carbon masks and it looks like we can build radiation suits with plastic and coal, but we don't I don't think we have coal I don't know how to get it. Let's see Coal is made from wood by a charcoal burner. It's used to clean water from radiation. Ah, Okay, so we can make charcoal from uh, from that. That's very cool All right, let's go over to making some more uh, Fabric now we have a little bit of plastic in storage Let's go to uh, cloth for both of these guys just so we can start making some clothing and get our people some scarves. I guess scarves is the best we can do in this time. So uh, I guess that's that. All right, let's go ahead and assign another person to the tailor now. Oh wait, we have two out of two on the tailor, good. Uh, I do want more food though. I wanna make sure we're good on that. Actually, I think we're okay. So let's just assign everybody to carrying jobs. We should have five, it says, that's recommended, but. All right, so now we should be able to produce clothing. So it just needs three cloth per, one, uh, ter per two scarves. So that'll give the uh, five remaining people a couple of scarves in the next day. So let's see how that goes. Also, we're gathering wood 
for a quest in the next 20 minutes, but we'll see exactly how that works out. We'll probably fail that one, just because we don't have enough uh, people to actually do all the jobs. We have a lot of children here. Uh, let's see. Children help families transport food and water to their home. Oh, so the kids will actually go out and do a few of the grocery shopping while the parents are at work. That's kind of good. That's good news. Apparently nobody's available to work scrap. We just need more uh, random workers available. People who are just, uh, you know, unemployed. But they're not necessarily unemployed. Unemployed just means that you're going to gather materials. So gather is really... So it's cool that no matter what, people are always doing something in your town to help out. All right, today should be a day, a day of rain. So hopefully we see it rain. There's a chance of rain anyway. Uh, let's see. Rain, unknown contamination, build a weather station for forecasts. And then so we should be able to gather... Uh, rainwater from that. We're out with zero water again, but our two wells are working quite nicely. I'm kind of out of people to work at wells, even if I build more. We need the labor to actually do it. Alright. Anybody triggered by the warehouses not being completely even? Me too. It's okay. It actually kind of looks cool. We can make a staggered effect going all the way down to the, uh, to the old river. Ah, water's really pouring in now. Fantastic. Very good, and all that cloth is being used to make more and more neck scarves. We're down to four now, people who need that. And we have 13 adults plus nine children who are uh, starting to uh, work into our area here. I'm assuming people can also die of old age too, so we might have people of unknown age with us who might just die because of ailments that they had before they came to the site. Uh, failed mission task on that one. That was the, uh, the wood one, which, all right, b better luck next time, I guess. It's all fine. It's not like we really needed the extra scrap. It was only 30, but, uh, you know, it's all good since we're more focused on keeping people alive by gathering water and not wood. They're giving me extra tasks for bonuses, but I would say gathering water is a little bit more important for now. But now that we know that there's tasks in the game, we can always assign people for extra tasks on the side. Good, so now we're bringing in a lot of cloth, and now we need to get anybody else who is a free hand working at the uh, fishing dock so we can keep... There we go. Keep people working. Let's see here. So we got one settler working on random gathering. We have one builder, uh, which is fine for whenever I put down something random. I think we'll just always keep one person in there because if I build something, I'll forget about switching and reallocating the labor. So food and water are low again, but now we've got uh, a full fishing hut and we have a full water force. So that should be good to increase those numbers. And it looks like somebody's homeless too, so we got to build more houses again. So let's do that. Let's build another house. And then hopefully, if we build a few more homes... Actually, what if we build a house with a tank? What does that do? Uh, building as additional capacity to store water. Move in as a family. Two and three. Two and three. I'm, we may as well start building them with water capacity. These will be our well-to-do neighborhood. Yes, of course. There we are. Our, our posh neighborhood. There we go. We'll build two of those. So that way they can store water. And that'll take off uh, the storage... Uh, neat, uh, maximum from the uh, from the cistern. It's raining again. We should be getting a ton of water from this. D it is not radioactive, by the way. So we need to build more rain collectors, I think. So we've gotten a lot of cloth now for our thing here. Let's go back to plastics and build another rain catcher. Very, very finicky, this game. You'll need to be very precise on everything that you do. Everything is a chess move, and one wrong move means that you might need to wait uh, a while for the right opportunity to come around again for stuff. All right, let's go into another rain gather. We're going to put all of our resources to that. Hey, I would say 500, not too bad for our city. It, it is a red alert, but it's better than the 60 that we had. There we go. All right, rain is really starting to come in and water's starting to go up. Now I think we need to build ourselves something else uh, in terms of uh, feeding our people. Maybe we could go for a, a hunter, a gatherer hut. Or a hunting cabin. I think maybe we probably should do a gatherer hut. Oh, it looks like it's going to gather from all around here. Let me just plop this down in the middle. 1,300 food from that. All right, not too bad. Let's plop that down there for temporary gain of uh, fruit berries and stuff like that. Berry bushes, whatever. Very important to do that. And also our hunting lodge. Wow, another huge building. We're going to need more people to work on these... Um, buildings, but we can at least construct them for now. Once we get them constructed, when people come in, we can do more work in tor towards um, completing those projects and uh, getting them fully fulfilled with the people working there. Let's actually just pause that building now. So the uh, water tower, as I'm going to call it, the rain gather, is going to need more plastic to complete, I'm assuming. Yep. 6 out of 24. So water should no longer be a problem soon. If we get another rain gatherer up, 
and it rains a few heavy times. It's all random, but we'll be all good. Oh, looks like we're achieving a lot of stuff here. Well, not everybody's dead, so I guess that's a victory. Not dying is always a victory. Good, seven random settlers available. Let's go ahead and assign a few more to uh, building tasks. And let's get a few more on gathering now. And actually, let's uh, remove that for a second. Uh, let's remove builders. We'll keep it to two. So we have two people gathering. Uh, ran, uh, well, doing cutting down trees and gathering scrap. Now we should have everybody working as a gatherer. And the second uh, water tower should be ready soon. The rain gatherer. Beautiful. Wow. I love all the little objects that they can get scrap from. Again, there's like shipping containers, gantries for cranes, small me uh, metallic um, like shelves, and then of course the greenhouse itself, which I think we might need a bigger building to actually like, uh, like we might need a, a larger structure to do that. Oh, there we go, the hunter. Uh, wow, what are you, Superman or something? Look at this guy. It's crazy. Uh, we don't need that much wood. What? Uh, we have quests and stuff coming in. But I'm not even paying attention to them at the moment. I don't, I'm not really concerned about that at the moment. I just want to keep everybody alive. Water is a little bit more important than gathering random wood. But we'll take advantage of those um, quests in the next run through. Because this is a fantastic seed. I, re I really like that we started next to a lake. But I don't like how it all dries up. Look at that. There's even clouds in the game. How beautifully detailed. That is just a great thing to be focused on. Yet another city builder. We do not have enough. Especially those where you're more forced to survive. Okay, well, we have the second uh, water uh, rain gatherer ready. So I'm going to gather some plastics for a while. Let's also gather some cloth. And what do we have for open uh, workers right now? We have three hunters available. Let's go do that. So food is definitely abundant now from the uh, gatherer post. That is just kicking butt. Looks like we can move the work area too when it's done. But putting it for there for right now is pretty good. It's in the middle of everything. So food is taken care of. Let's continue to focus on rain gatherers then. We just need people to transport water back and forth. So now let's finally resolve this rain problem. That's going to be my main goal for today is to get all the water situated. And it seems like the best way to do that is with the rain gatherer. Because it, it does rain and it, it, it works like at night time. Even, it doesn't take any employees to work except for to transport water back and forth. And it looks like we still need more homes. And, uh, oh, actually, we're very short on tools. So we're running out of tools as well. So we got to start making those too. And, uh, well, it looks like the workshop is used to make tools. So let's build one of those now. And we'll make sure that's a top priority to construct. So let's go ahead and put the, uh, what does this need for materials? Oh, we need to actually get metal from this. Okay. So it looks like scrap, wood, and metal are going to be needed next. Well, let's complete our second uh, rain gatherer, and then we will start working on the uh, tool shop that'll give everyone else tools. A lot of people are doing stuff without tools, so that's something to keep in mind as well. A lot of new things to learn in a new game. Absolutely. Technician is what those people are called for that. Very cool. All right, well, food is maxed out. Let's go ahead and shut down the uh, fishing industry for a little bit. Let's get people on random gathering. And let's get, uh, actually, we'll just assign two and two. And then we have four people ready to go out and gather random materials. So we'll have uh, scrap coming in. A lot of scrap coming in. A lot of trees being cut down. So wood is at 140. Let's continue to gather that. Tasks, let's go for more gathering wood. Is there a way to make the work area larger? Doesn't necessarily say. We can actually make multiple work areas, though. Uh, place, rotate. Yeah, there's not much I can do with that. At least cutting down these trees gives us more space to build, too, though that is uh, radioactive land. But that's where the trees are, so that's where they got to go. Okay, let's see. Any other scrap around? Uh, here's a perfect spot. A sandstorm! Blasting through town. Sandstorm approaching. Slows your settlers down, moves radiations, and damages buildings. Okay, so we'll need to get somebody to do repairs as well. And uh, Taylor is still making masks for people. So protective masks are coming in. We still need homes to be produced as more people are coming into the camp or becoming adults. Wow. 
It is a slow, arduous grind in this game, and I love it. This is absolutely fantastic. Everything here is just so cool and nicely done and really well polished. I can't believe I found out about this game like literally an hour ago, and I absolutely love it. A lot to learn here, but not a steep learning curve. It's uh, an easy-to-learn game, but I assume it'll be difficult to master as each map will offer its own unique challenges as well as uh, different uh, types of quests and things like that to do, which give you bonuses, but to be honest, I'd rather have my workforce gathering water and materials rather than worrying about, like, oh, we need eight plastic for a party. It's like, okay, calm down there. All right, everybody, thank you very much for joining me for my first episode of this wonderful game. It is available now on Steam. This is really cool. End Zone is just awesome. And if you want to check it out again, check down below in the description. Leave a like today. Again, smash that join button if you haven't already become a member. And I want to give this one another run. If you like it and want to see more, smash like, and I will come on back and we'll do something with all lessons learned. Now that we got a, you know, the rust out on not knowing how to play, now we can come back and be a real champion. So thank you, everybody, for being here, showing your support, being positive, and just, just being awesome. Thanks, as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.